Well, good morning and happy May 22nd. Just out walking the field that I had planted on May 13th. It's up. <laughs> One of the things that I was super, super worried about when planting is I had adjusted the product delay on the planter. And so I guess for those that may not know, it's basically the calculation of how long uh, the planter is doing the calculation uh, from when it senses where you are in the field to when it turns on the product and turns it off. Uh, for those that may have seen a video last year, I had about four row skips of it uh, not turning on soon enough and then not turning off soon enough. So I adjusted that but I also just did it visually based on what I saw last year. Not exactly getting out and digging like you're supposed to. Um, so I was a bit worried. I was kind of worried that I was, I did it the opposite where instead of four rows, all of a sudden I was going to have eight. Thankfully, from what I can tell, it's pretty darn mind the shadow it's pretty darn close now yeah it'll be a much more apparent once it gets up but for now I'll take this because yeah all I could envision was uh, <laughs> having major gaps this year and of course it would be right along the road also where the road's elevated, so very easy to see. And not saying it's all based on appearances, but that, yes, wasn't really looking forward to that. So yeah, it seems to be, seems to be well. This is the stage where, I mean, I think, personally, I think the emergence looks well. I don't love to gotta stop walking into the shadow, but um, yeah, I think give it a week. Uh, this next week, although, is a little looking a little cold, so I don't know how much it will do. But I'm, I was just watching a video of Memorial Day last year, and I don't think it's gonna be that far off. But I'm getting this so. I'm gonna walk down and check out some of the, oh, the areas that maybe, if it didn't get great, um, a stand, um, that's where I would see it. It's heavy clay and such, but turn it around for a second. I got my Remembrance Farm coffee mug. Just out walking. Uh, my mom and I finished up planting Got home from planting about 1 a.m., but that was getting the planter back to the barn, hooking it, unhooking it, and then hooking it back up to the sprayer that was sitting outside, and getting that in the barn too. But made for a little bit later at night, but planting is all done, and now praying for timely rains and um, yeah timely rains and heat when needed and yeah so far what I'm seeing is is nice emergence and a nice sand so hopefully hopefully it looks like this other areas of the field too 
guess we'll see, but um, yeah. So the clay, I would have hoped could have been a little bit better. Um, it's not a surprise, surprise, but um, we do have some days of rain this week. Um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Um, it's there, but it's not as, maybe not as great as I would have hoped, but this, this clay is tricky. I, my dad's farm always had trouble. I mean, they, they said that, uh, you know, some, some of their clay fields, it was, uh, you planted it and then you prayed for some rain to really close in the, uh, uh, close in the trench because it just, they, they would try disking, uh, they'd try a lot of things and so not quite a surprise but we'll see when it gets a little bit larger of what it's looking like the sand is up and going so that's a positive <laughs> can't quite see it um, in the video uh, but normally with this pond you can see the uh where the fish are along the edge beautiful day really beautiful day <laughs> lost little field to look at this is technically the first one that i planted they're all, technically this one was May 12th, but I can already tell the, uh, the herbicide program that I talked with, uh, with Andy, I think I'm going to like that more because I just not feeling good about the pre-merge this year, but maybe but it looks like I'm going to have to come back in with Roundup on these fields, which, I don't know. So, my, for those that haven't followed along, uh, I have 70 acres that I just finished up yesterday that I'm doing the going in when it's six inches tall, going with a little bit of a residual and also Roundup. This one was straight pre-emerge with the hope that maybe it would keep it at bay and I wouldn't have to go back in with Roundup but if I have to go back with the Roundup uh, what did I calculate the uh, the straight pre-emerge program was roughly $20, $20 an acre the other program with it being 6 inches tall is $24, $25 an acre um, but if I have to go back in with the pre-merge with Roundup afterwards, then it's around $30, $35 an acre. So it may be, I may be moving all of it to the, the other program going back in with Roundup, but this is up and we'll see. Well, so this concludes the crop tour for May 22nd. <laughs> One last look at the corn. Hopefully the next time I see it, it's up even further. I mean, I would hope. <laughs> Thank you for walking along and yeah, see how it goes. I'm sweaty, a little bit of a walk. <laughs> yeah, but it's exciting.